Okay, okay. You guys summoned me, and now I'm back. So, <laughs> what is going on, everybody? My name is Tyler, or Shadows RC, and welcome back to the channel. And today, we got some things to go over. So, it's been a while. Hope you all are doing well. Um, I guess we'll jump right into it. I have every car here, except for the late model, just because the body is all the way up in my shelf, and the car is all the way on the ground. Um... Actually, screw it. Let's bring it out here. Let's get the whole squad out here for you guys. Got got some updates. Okay, now that the land yacht is out, we're going to talk about this one first, actually. So, if you guys are new here, this is my 12T late model based off of Traxxas Slash. It is called a Crate late model. It is running a Shark RC body. Don't remember the name of it, but it is a Shark RC body. I actually really like it. I just threw my own decals on it, made by Carpies, of course. If you guys want to shop at Carpies, you guys can enter the promo code TEAMPERUZI10 before you check out, and that'll get you 10% off of a great wrap or decals or even merchandise. I have the Cruzy Motorsport shirt with my sponsor Carpies and all the other stuff Shadows already see on it. And I'm thinking I'm going to buy a hat too. But yeah, so great late model. Nothing's really changed. Uh, I didn't get a chance to race the last year, but I really want to this year. I got to get it going. But yeah, we got that. That's one of my cars. Like I said, I'm not here to show you guys my cars. I'm here for an update. So next up is the Carpies RC sponsored sprint car. So I built this last year. If you guys um, don't know or heard about this, this is a B6 converted sprint with a Evolution Racing Concepts chassis conversion kit. That's the chassis. It runs a Custom Works um, Cage Knoxville body, Custom Works Knoxville. And I'm running Hoosiers on DE wheels. I have another set here, so I race, um, I guess, I don't know how to describe surface at Fox Trap, but I plan to race it there this year. Um, but they do mod sprints, and this is not a mod sprint. I wanted a 17.5 boosted sprint, but then I figured out that I'm running a 13.5 Tekken right now, which got passed down. You guys will hear about that in a minute. And now I had a Reedy 13.5, now I'm running a Tekken 13.5, so it should be a lot faster because I had no timing. Now I do. And... The 17.5 boosted is actually the same speed pretty much, but this is on the linky mode as well. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite cars. I got these um, metal wing braces from a guy named Jim on Dirt Oval R RC Dirt Oval Classifieds on Facebook. Buy and sell group, really nice guy and really good quality. He sent me the long ones and the smaller ones in case I go for the six by six wing I'm assuming. He also sells them for modifieds for under this part here. And I think he sells them for late models as well for I think right here and back there. But yeah. So next. Mm, I might skip that. But <laughs> so next for the modifieds, I got a new radio for Christmas. I got a 4 p.m. Futaba. I had a free PV, so now I got this. It's on big block modified. But yeah, I'm really excited to use this. It feels so good, and I love Futabas. My dad actually got a DX5 Pro for Christmas, which is also a great remote, but like I said, I'm a Futaba guy. Next, I gotta give a quick shout out to the boys, aka Michael, over at uh, um, BDS Wheel Dots. I ordered these, which are the press and plugs for the wheels. They just started making these. They're really good. Uh, I haven't even had a chance to put them on yet. I'm waiting for something. And he said that's not the right color yellow. He threw in some stickers, so he really hooked me up with them. And he he also sent over some ESC plates, which mount in the ESC location behind the battery strap on a LCG, because race ESCs don't have the screw holes on them. So, yeah. But that was pretty cool. So, thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, my 12 T's here. Not really much to say. Last time I raced this and at all this year was, uh, I think maybe it was in November. It might have been November because it was, it was really cold out that day. It was either October or November at the Fox Trot 
200. That was the last time I could race due to COVIDs, and obviously, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to get into places with limitations. So yeah, but the car ran really good last time I ran it. It is a little tight, and I want to change the setup. So um, not much, but when I say tight, I just mean the pinion to spur. So not a big deal. Um, we actually. Me and my dad both, um, Carpies is actually sponsoring all of Peruzzi Motorsports, which is pretty cool. I wasn't sure if they were doing just me or just my dad or what, but they're sponsoring both of us, which is really cool. So, we ordered three new wraps. So, two of those are my dad's big block, small block, or not small block, 12T, sorry. And then one is for this car. Now, obviously, it takes a while to get my cars looking. That's a lighter green, but <laughs> still the same design. Obviously, it takes forever to get these cars looking same colors, and it's very expensive to do. So, with that being said, sprint cars staying, big blocks getting that body. It's it's really not that wrecked. I mean, the wrap's peeling up a little bit here, and it's a little dirty, not a big deal. Other over overall and there needs to be a screw there but other than that that body's not bad it's good big block body and we have a new one coming so i'll basically tell you guys what i'm going to do but i'm not going to tell you what the scheme is or the colors um but the amr fabrications is going down here somewhere i might have a carpies logo here both sides obviously i'm gonna put gt bodies he made the sail panel body and one of my other modified bodies on the rear of the spoiler, I'm gonna I'm putting this BDS logo right here somewhere. I'm leaving 247 on the hood. My dad's taking it off, but other than that, I think that that's pretty much it. Name's gonna be on the roof, still 247. That'll stay. I'm not sure if the car piece sticker will or not. If he'll add that, but if he does, that's fine. And then Perusy Motorsports, obviously, say. But I don't want to say too much. So <laughs> next. This one, this one's the one that's literally changed the most. And I'm going to take the body off of it for you guys. But right away, you guys can say, see I got a new uh, wheel and tire set up. This is, uh, I believe it is soft Hoosiers. Because I had super soft and now I wanted some softs. In case you got to mix and match. They're on DE Speedway wheels. And I'm running the blue mud plugs for obvious reasons. As you guys can see... If you guys don't know what this is, this is a sail panel modified body. They, they're basically on real cars as well, and they're nonetheless they're pretty cool. Um, I had a different guy make it, so um, a local guy, just so I could get him the body and he could measure everything out. Just easier that way. I mean, he did my first wrap, which was the red 41J, but he did pretty good on it. I'm pretty hyped. Um, this ain't a body you can run like any day like there's a special class they run sometimes called a sail panel class so yeah but here we got my um receiver just from my free pv i believe we got an ntg fan i believe that's gonna go into the fan plug whatever the hell that is it's not that one something else but that that's what we're waiting on but still same setup Got the free PV receiver. Uh, oh, sorry. That ESC plate I was talking about earlier actually screws in right here to the shock tower and it goes over and then you put your ESC there. Mine's right here, but obviously I'm gonna put it right up here. That's pretty cool of him. So glad he brought him over, but brand new Hoosiers, brand new wheels. And here's the big part. This, this thing, I did not know I was getting for Christmas. I didn't ask for it. So it was definitely a big surprise. But I got a, uh, <laughs> look at that. I got a fully tuned, like, prefix timing and everything, Nick Bell motor. If you guys don't know who Nick Bell is, he tunes um, race motors. You guys have few options for tuning race motors, actually. You guys got um, Nick Bell. Uh, you guys got Todd Putnam from the RC Speed Shop. And then you have Rotoron, which is pretty good. We've had all three of their motors. They're pretty good. This is my first tuned motor, though. As you guys can see, it's got full... There you go, ND Racing. It's got full titanium screw kit in it. 
and it's got full ceramic bearings and dyno sheet didn't look too bad so it should be pretty dang fast because I used to not like to race my big block not because I can't handle it I can more than handle it the thing was running a Tekken motor which is right there it's redline gen 3 Running that motor on a car that's heavy, like a modified, I just couldn't keep up with the guys that have like $180 motors, you know, tuned motors. So with this, I'll be able to keep up with them and have a chance at competing because obviously this is a really fast motor. Now putting that motor in this, it's not a big deal because sprint cars are pretty light. So you don't really notice, give or take. But in a sprint car, it's about gearing and all that because you got plastic gears, most of them mine does so you gotta be careful with it but this motor is gonna haul ass and i'm super excited that paired to my xr10 pro esc that'll haul ass and i'm really excited but like i said this body's going there new body goes here this stays the same this will probably stay as is i mean i don't see anything really changing on it it's just dirty right now but it is running a Traxxas um, thing. It does have an ESC as well. I have to re-solder the Dean's connector. But other than that, it's like, it, it, it runs completely. We ran in our backyard RC track a few times. But yeah, that's the RC update. Um, I'll make a video on that soon. Hopefully within next week, week and a half. Actually wasn't planning on doing the order yesterday, but my dad said, let's get these ordered in. So yeah, but uh, if anybody watching this has a sprint car, like a Custom Works Outlaw 4 or something, honestly, tell me, give me a surface, like dirt or clay, and tell me what tires I should put on these wheels. Obviously, I have the angle blocks and whatever the front Hoosiers are, but I don't want to, I hear they're pretty good for the areas I'm on, but like, I want to be able to have a second set of tires just in case there's like, different conditions and i want to be ready for it sorry i wasn't in focus but i just like being prepared because the wheels it came with four rears and four fronts i believe that was the only option so yeah obviously that's how i did it but now i gotta pull my cars back so <laughs> thank you all for watching i'll be back with an update on that one hopefully we'll be racing soon i can make some updates on that one looking snowy so it is just about february actually tomorrow no sunday's last day of january and then next thing you know we're gonna be in february and hopefully we can be racing by april outside give or take we're gonna make it to foxtrot more this year obviously i'll be going to kevin so will my dad and we're gonna try turnpike speedway my dad actually went to uh sorry i realized my camera was zoomed out but obviously my dad went Turnpike Speedway after Fox Shot Showdown. I couldn't because I had to work, unfortunately. And so it was a really fun class or track, I should say. And it looks like Circle, kind of. So that'll be an interesting track drive, but be very fun nonetheless. But I hope you all enjoyed it. Can't wait to show you guys new bodies. And yeah, that's it. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Sorry for being gone so long. I'll be back. And yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. All right, so I already recorded this whole video, but I wanted to say that my dad actually rebuilt this whole car, and that's because he figured we could get more speed out of it, and it was the part of summer where I was kind of busy working, <laughs> but he needed something new, so he rebuilt my whole car, found some things he wasn't a huge fan of, like grease in the trans. <laughs> so... He decided to go through, clean it out. So huge shout out to him. And the car should be should be on rails this year, assuming assuming I can drive. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> I just figured I'd add that. So yeah, enjoy the video.